Smith on Wilson. Makes her fade just short. High screen, Mabry gets an open look. There's the three, and that's an area you mentioned, Beck. There's some all-stars, hoping to be all-stars again this year, and coming out to start the second quarter, Kirsten Bell gets the start, and had a little different look at the D. Becky Hammond is really testing her bench. She knows that she's got to get some rotations from Kirsten Bell, even possibly Kayla George. She's already getting a great deal from Alicia Clark, especially with having Raquana Williams out. Yep, she certainly is. And then the defense, the rebounding blocks by Stokes. That's three ball way out by or Minnesota's the physical th team. I feel like we say that in every game <laughs> now this season. Yeah, I think you're right. There's been a lot of player movement. I mean, all these teams have played for a lot of different James is Mabry. Let's have a total different look. And James Wade is quick to point out. Again, a lot of playmakers out here and shoot shots from outside the three. Yeah, little details that make a difference as the Aces have taken their largest lead up by 19. And Mabry continues to stay. And there were so many fun events that have been going on in the timeouts and before the game and halftime. And there's a lot of talented kids that have made their way in. As Mabry says, I'm going to tell people, keep your starters fresh and rotate you in. Yeah, good point. With the list. Connor Williams looking on. He's got a sweater on. Areas that the Aces wanted to improve from last season. She also is a tremendous passer. Nice three-point shot. Yep, she does. Mabry to the line.